Welcome back. Well, with all of the recent natural disasters happening across the U.S., it may be time to consider how you can build your own emergency fund. I know it's not easy, but today, financial expert Brad Hacker, he's here in studio to give us some tips about how you can go about doing just that. Thank you so yeah. much for coming in, Brad. Great to be back in here with you, Lisa. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this. I mean, with all of this happening yeah. in the news, you know, a lot of times we go to a relief fund from the government, you know, right. in our minds at least. That's what we think. think. Oh, the government's going to give us money and we'll right. be okay. But in that meantime, before that check comes from the government and you're sitting there right. in the middle of a natural disaster, you need funds, funds to get through that type of thing. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think the one thing we, we all know is, is that life's going to happen and stuff's going to break. Right. Right? Right. And, so, and so we need to have some money in reserve to handle those things. It isn't always a natural disaster or something right. major. It could be just something simple as a, as a car repair or a kid getting sick or something exactly. like that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah. I know that Doug and I had a water line burst oh, yeah, last that's a, year that's a big one and it i mean it came down yeah. on the kitchen table and yeah, the whole bit and, sure. and we had to leave the house for yeah. four days i mean that's yeah. the type of disasters that Absolutely. happen more typically here i know we <laughs> had a sure. hurricane you know <laughs> yeah. storm kind of come through kentucky yeah. which is doesn't happen very often doesn't happen <laughs> right. often but those those disasters the other yeah, disasters that exactly. are unexpected uh, unexpected you need yeah. to have something how yeah. do people start yeah. The process of even trying to save for that. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is just simply that the hardest money to save a lot of times is the money we see. So yes. if we can automate savings, meaning that um, you know we tell our employer, hey, Mr. Employer, I've got this savings account. Let's take a little piece of my paycheck and every pay period, let's put a little bit in that pay period. So that way it's not coming into our checking account and yes. really easy to spend. So I think the first key thing is just automate it where it happens because if that money's not available for us to spend, we yes. kind of naturally make our budget tighten up a little bit to, mm -hmm. to not to not need that money. So yes. a good good place to start is just, you know, let's pick an amount that we can afford on a on a on a paycheck basis mm -hmm. and, and automate it. So yeah. I think that's a really, really good place to start. I think that's a great way to do it too, mm -hmm. because you know, it's it's so hard to just take a big lump of money, oh, out of a paycheck yeah, and absolutely. just do that. We all can't do that. Yeah. So you don't feel the pressure as much when For, you do it little oh, by little. Yeah, like absolutely, that. absolutely. And when you make it happen without you having to think about it, yes. you know, because like me, I'm a spender by nature. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm good at it. Yeah. So I need that money to go somewhere where I don't see it and I don't yeah. really have access to it. So that way it spins and it just kind of happens and I don't think about it. Right. And and this is considered then a separate fund from your savings plan, correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah. So this might be just a, a separate account that you have uh, separate from your normal like savings account that's attached to your checking account or whatever. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's an account that maybe you'll set up at a, at a different bank or a credit union or somewhere like that. Yeah. Uh, draws a little bit of interest, things like that. And just have it deposited in there every time you get paid. Mm -hmm. That way it automated and it just happens. Right. Yeah. And, and what are people, I mean, for an emergency fund, what is it? What kind of expenses are they looking at uh, yeah. for some type of emergency? What would you say? Yeah, those well, I mean, a lot of it is, is things like you you just had with Doug, mm -hmm. right? An unexpected expense to our home, mm -hmm. uh, an automotive expense, mm -hmm. you know, a car breaking down, or maybe it's you know we we've got kids and the and the kids get sick and we got to right. take them to the doctor, so we have to take some time off work, so maybe mm -hmm. we don't make as much money mm -hmm. as we normally would, and so just little expenses like that 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 come up mm -hmm. just just through life, right? Because we've we've all had those. Those times we're spending money on Thursday that we didn't know we were going to spend on Monday. Right, right. So we want to be we want to be ready for them. Yeah. Yep. And so for folks that might need help or guidance in setting up a, a system like this, an emergency yeah. fund or a savings plan, um, where can they contact you if they have more questions? Yeah, about this? they're always welcome to reach out to me. Usually the easiest is by email. So okay. They'll just email me at bradley.hacker at benchmark.us, and mm -hmm. if you'll put. So maybe TVQ financial questions in the subject line, and, yeah. and then they can, and I'm happy to reach out to them and, and help them set up some of those systems and processes to, mm -hmm. to build that fun. Wonderful. Sure. Well, Brad, thank you so much for coming in today. Yeah, we appreciate to it. Yeah, good to yeah. see you. And we'll be back right after this. Keep it here.